Hi. In this video, we continue to discuss the examples to sketch the graph of a function. Now, in example 4, for cubic function, given f of x is x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. First, you can check with your calculator what is the roots for this cubic function. So if you check with your calculator, it gives you x equals 1, negative 1, and 2. So to make a proper working step, you can change the roots to be a factor. So x equals 1 will be x minus 1, and negative 1 will be x plus 1, and 2 will be x minus 2. Right. Previously, when we sketch, when we discussed about the shape of the basic graph, the cubic function for a greater than 0 would be like this. But, it can also be like this. In this case, since we have three roots over here, so we may show these three roots in our graph. So, our graph will be like this. So here, negative 1, 1, and 2. So don't forget to label X and Y. So here we can uh, sketch the graph in terms like this and then we can straight away sketch like that. And then here a little bit below and then we can further up to the upper right. Do not worry much about these points because it is uh, not a quadratic function and we don't need to find out that one. We only focus on this one. It will be enough in our case. Example 5, absolute value function or we can call it modulus function. So the question given here is absolute of 2x minus 1. So before we discuss the shape of graph, remember, for the absolute value function, you have to equate this one with 0. So x equals to 1 over 2. Why we need to equate with 0? Because basically, for absolute function, we have two definitions, right? So the first one, the positive, and the second one is negative definition. So this definition will change at x equals to 1 over 2. So for positive definition, it is start from x greater or equals 1 over 2. And for negative definition, x will be less than 1 over 2. And also, we can sketch the graph So sketch the graph. So the changing positive negative definition is at 1 over 2. So start 1 over 2, we have positive definition. So 2x plus minus 1 is a linear, right? So it would be like this. And negative 2x plus 1 is linear negative gradient. So what is the y-intercept over here? So remember, the original one, y-intercept should be at negative 1. So since here we have absolute function, 
it will give the same value over here so here it should be positive one so this is the graph don't forget to label x and y as this so that's it the graph for absolute function for absolute 2x minus 1 Example 6, rational function. Given the function of 1 over 2 minus x. So before we proceed to sketch the graph, remember for rational function, you have to find out where the function is undefined at x and y. So to find where the function is undefined at x, first you have to equate 2 minus x equals to 0. So, you will get x equals to 2, right? Therefore, you can conclude that fx is undefined at x equals to 2. And also, to find where the function is undefined at y, look at the constant. Is it plus any constant? So, here we can assume that it is plus 0. So, in this case, we can conclude that the function also undefined at y equals to 0. So, after we settle these two values where the function is undefined, then we can proceed to sketch the graph. So first put where the function is undefined at x equals to 2. So this is 2. And then y equal to 0. So y is 0 is basically at x exists. And then, now we can sketch the graph. So how the graphs look like? So this time, we will use the basic concept of rational function. So remember here, x is negative. So for x negative, it is x less than 0. So the shape of graph would be like this. So now we can sketch the graph. So the graph would be like this. Okay, so that's it. How we sketch the graph for question 6. That is for the rational function. Next, square root function or third function. So the function given is third x plus 3. So, like absolute and also rational function, so the inside set here also we need to equate with 0. So, we get x equals to negative 3. So, now we can proceed to sketch the graph. So how the graph looks like? So remember the basic shape. So this is for positive third. And A greater than 0, which is positive x plus 3. So the shape of graph would be like this. That is when x increase, the graph we move to the direction of the upper right. So... First, we plot here negative 3. We start with x equals to negative 3. And the graph will, in, will increase to the direction of the upper right, like this. So, this is how we sketch the graph for the square root function. It's not that difficult, right? Next function f of x is negative third 1 minus x. 
Like the previous example, first we need to equate y minus x with 0. So we get x equals to 1. And then, check the shape of the graph. So in this case, it is a less than 0 and also negative outside the third. So the shape of our graph would be like this. That is, when, when the value of s decrease, the graph will move to the direction of the bottom left. So now we sketch the graph. And then put here neg 1. And don't forget to label x and y. So this is how we sketch the graph to the direction of the bottom left. So this is the graph for this function. Before the end of this video, I will highly recommend you to download this app that is Desmos. You can download from the Play Store in order for you to learn graph sketching. I hope you can master the skill of the graph sketching using this app.